Hey YouTube family and friends, today I'll be doing a refrigerator organization. Here are a few items that I did purchase and some I've already had. I'm going to mix a little bit of clear and color. These are a few items that I did purchase. Altogether, I don't even I didn't even spend not even mm, not even $50, I don't think. Let's start right here with the budget friendly items. As you see right here, the blue chevron pieces were some that I had already had that I had bought from Dollar Tree maybe a year or so ago. And I, th I thought they were cute, so I figured why not add them in my fridge organization? You might not know, but turquoise is one of my favorite colors. So these are old pieces that I'll be recycling. And then right here we have the condiment bottles. I got those from Dollar Tree actually, along with these right here. My plan is to store things like my ketchup, mustard, relish, and my Italian salad dressing in here. That way it'll be easier for storage, taking up less space, and look more organized and clean. Right here, right here are a few mason jars that I'll be using to store our salad. Our family loves salad. And so just to make it easier to grab and go, I'll have those already ready and we'll just refill them once they're empty. The smaller jar here will be for my husband. He doesn't eat lettuce, so I always make him like a cucumber and tomato salad. I have a few clear trays that I bought from Ross and these were purchased a while ago too. I'm not for sure what I'm gonna put in, whether it's water bottles, juices, I'm not sure. But um, as you see, the smaller one is $3.99 and then we had a larger one that was only $5.99. Not bad. To store my eggs, I'll be using this egg container. And this was purchased at Ross too. And this was only $4.99. They had several different styles, but I thought this was the cutest since it had the chickens on there and a little bit of writing. These are liquid containers that you can use for either your juice, your milk. My plan is to put some lemonade in one, one of the larger ones, and then milk in the other. And right here I'll have probably some apple juice or something like that. Now they look like they could be glass, nice and clear, but they're not. They're actually plastic, which was a better choice, especially with my younger one. I have a few of what you would call colanders, but they're actually storage containers, and this will be used for my fruit. Fresh fruit, like my strawberries and grapes and things like that. So again, I chose to use the white, the turquoise, and then, and then a few clear items. All right, now we'll go ahead and get started cleaning those refrigerator out. So here you'll see where I'm prepping to clean my vegetables and fruit. What I've used for cleaning is white distilled vinegar and a little bit of dish detergent. It doesn't sound like a good combination, but believe me, they'll come out cleaner than what you've started. During this pandemic, we want to make sure that everything we bring into our home, especially from the grocery store, is sanitized. That is items that we store in our refrigerator to also the items that we use and put away in our cabinets and pantry.
Now, what I like to do with my strawberries is, as soon as I get them home from the grocery store, after cleaning them off really good, I like to go ahead and slice them and then store them away in the refrigerator. That way, when my husband and children are ready to eat, they're already prepped. Now, because I have this germophobia instinct about me, which was way before we even heard of any type of pandemic, this can be time consuming, but I'm sorry. Wait, before I put anything into my mouth, I have to make sure that it's clean. So this can, again, be time consuming, but to make sure that you're healthy, by everything that you put into your body, please take the time to rinse these items off. You don't have to do it as detailed as I'm doing it, but take the time. And if you'll notice, each time that I've cleaned off the vegetables or the fruit, you'll see why I changed the water out. Besides when I combine the strawberries and the kiwi together. I even rinsed off my watermelon. Silly, but it made me feel comfortable. And now it's veggie cleanup time. With the lemons, I made sure I sliced them really good because we're always making, whether it's fresh lemonade or sometimes with what my mom has, I'll just buy Hawaiian punch lemonade, pour it into my juice container, and they won't even know any difference. They'll think that it's fresh lemonade that mom made. Cutting up the celery is another quick time saver. Now this is another crucial part of me cleaning my vegetables. I know you guys have felt that slimy substance that's always on your cucumbers. Well, I've heard so many stories and I've done research. So every time we do buy cucumbers, I make sure that I not only rinse them off with soapy water and the vinegar, I actually have this veggie cleaning brush that I use. And I scrub, scrub, scrub those things to make sure that I don't feel anything slippery or slimy anymore. Here I'm prepping our on-the-go salad jars. Because salad is a big thing in my household, I always make sure that I have these stored away and that way when someone has a taste for salad, they'll just go ahead and grab their jar and pull it out. All they have to do now is add the dressing if they choose to. Now in one of the jars, you'll see where there's no tomatoes in there because my little one does not like tomatoes. And then I even have a smaller jar that I make sure I make for my husband, but it only has cucumbers and you'll see it right there, cucumbers and tomatoes. He doesn't eat lettuce. So I have to modify things when it comes to different ones in my house and I don't have a problem doing it, especially when it's already prepped. So I make sure I take the time to prepare all of this, which makes it easier on mom. And all I have to do is say, go in the refrigerator, it's already ready.
your eye on this next mom hack, carrots in a jar. If your children love carrots, all they have to do is grab and go, grab and go. Another mom hack. Here's the finished product of our vegetables clean and prepped, ready to be stored in the refrigerator. And for those on the go salads, right there, that's our second mom hack. Now here's a special treat for storing our drinks. Just to add a little aesthetics to your decor inside of your refrigerator, yes, your refrigerator with decor in it, anything that you add or take away, time consuming, saves space, and also has a little cuteness to it, yeah, these juice containers came in handy. And you'll see there where I talked about the mom hack of the lemonade. They don't know I have Hawaiian punch lemonade. What I did was, you'll see where I stuffed those lemonades. Drink containers filled and completed. Three drinks, fresh milk, orange juice, and what they think is fresh lemonade. Now on to my space saver. What I did was I went to the Dollar Tree, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and I bought these condiment bottles. This is a big help when storing these type of things on the doors of a refrigerator. Not only does it save space, but it also makes things much neater and cleaner. It gives them more of that clean line look. My mustard and mayonnaise wasn't working well with me. Because the mayonnaise was so thick and it couldn't fit through the funnel, what I actually did was, well, let me not take the credit. My daughter made like a piping bag out of a Ziploc bag, and we just went ahead and poured the mayo into the condiment bottle like that. It made it much easier and much quicker. She's so smart. Now really quick here, for some reason I've always stored my pancake mix and my sugar in the refrigerator. Pancake mix, I don't know why, but the refrigerator and storing sugar there, well, I'm always scared that ants are going to start crawling. Y'all, I grew up in the country, and anything you, anywhere you left something sweet, you best believe there was a trail of ants. This is my little egg container tray that I found at Ross for a great deal. So, just so I don't have that styrofoam container inside my refrigerator that my daughter absolutely hates. I just thought I would add some cuteness to my eggs. We have this big thing on water intake in our house. So these Chevron containers were perfect for storing at least three water bottles full for us to grab and go. We made a deal, they have to be drunk by the end of the day and then refill for the next day. Y'all, it's hot here. So we have to make sure that we stay hydrated. Now onto the cleaning part of my refrigerator. What I use as a cleaning solution was again, the white distilled vinegar and just a little tad bit of dish detergent.
drinks are all stored and ready to go. As I said before, you'll see a variety of drinks. My husband, he has to make sure that he has healthy drinks with less sugar. So that's why you'll see those twist fruit drinks. Now, I love my Coke. So I have to always sneak one or two little ones and then a big one. Here are the vegetables and the fruit that I talked about earlier. There's my, oh, there's my cute little egg container. And my pancake mix and sugar. And in this drawer, I've just stored my daughter's cheese that she loves and those Uncrustables, quick things they can grab. And then, of course, we have to have my husband's medicine and stores. So that's what's in that drawer as well. And down, down here, you'll see that my vegetables are prepped. In this bottom drawer, what we have is a couple of Lunchables, again, for my little one to grab and go. My kiwi. And then that blue container there, I bought this from Tupperware years ago. It's where I store my bacon, and it always keeps it fresh. And I've had it for years, and it still works good. Of course, you always have to have that butter, and usually it's stored in that top drawer. And here's our milk. I made sure I labeled everything, and on the back, what I did was put the expiration date for the milk. Again, we have more snacks here for them to grab and go, mainly my little one. And then our condiments that we added into those containers. And the rest of them. We just kept those in the bottle. Please make sure and keep in mind that when you have things like these in the, your refrigerator, check out those expiration dates because some things can be there for a while that you didn't even use. And before you knew it, you've opened up the top and you may even see mold. Yes, mold. I know y'all have seen that. 